Okay, this is my new setup. Um, this is the chronograph output right here. The gyro sensor with the new notch filter to get rid of the DC offset followed by a driver amp about five times the amp. amp. That's the gyro, bias at five volts. Okay, just a quick note on the gyro sensor here. This is a 20,000 degrees uh, per second sensor and what we really need is a 2,000 degrees per second sensor. So basically this sensor is not sensitive enough and the output is <clears throat> very low. So it's very close to the noise wall and we're getting a lot of noise out of it. So later on you'll see um, some of the software fix I have done to uh, improve the noise issue. Um, just to give you an idea of the cost of the sensor itself, if you go to DigiKey, um, this particular sensor is the um, ADR, uh, ADXRS649. Um, it's a 20,000 degrees per second. It costs about $110.50. So instead of a 20,000 degrees per second sensor, what we really need is a 20,000 uh, no 2,000 degrees uh, per second sensor instead but look at the cost of this guy just for the sensor itself is $1,811.97 so uh, unless youtubers want to um, pitch in for the cost of this guy I think we'll probably have to live with what I have this is the um Y accelerometer bias at 12 volts before it was biased to 5 volts and it was distorting. And this is the X accelerometer also biased at uh, 12 volts. Okay, let's go get the targets. So later on, I'll show you some of the MATLAB code I've been working on to process all the sensor data. Basically, it will take the uh, data from the chronograph, um, determine the speed of each bullet, take the X and Y accelerometer to predict the displacement of the barrel, and figure out how many nodes there are in the barrel and determine the angle of uh, reflection of the barrel. That way, I can use it to predict the trajectory um, of each bullet and uh, the MATLAB code is pretty sweet because it also in, uh, includes the um, ballistic coefficient basically it accounts for the drag of each bullet as it goes down 50 yards and uh, uh, predict the point of impact it's pretty interesting hold on okay this is one of the screenshot of the scope capture um, as you can see from the data there's no more clipping of the accelerometer um, and the um, the gyro sensor is the purple line you can see there's a, a lot of noise on it um, but we'll clean it up with software but the good news is uh, both the um, the x and the y which is the blue and the the, the green traces uh, those are the x and y accelerometer there are no more clipping and uh, looks pretty clean. These are the two MATLAB code I've been working in the background to um, process the uh, sensor data. Basically, it takes into the um, ballistic coefficient, um, the initial conditions of the scope placement, uh, basically just the, um, the angle of the barrel um, uh, relative to the uh, scope reticle and it will load in all the data from the uh, scope capture uh, at the range. Basically, it loads in the time data, the gyro data, the X accelerometer and the Y accelerometer, and also the uh, chronograph to um, calculate the speed of each bullet. And from all those sensor data, it will calculate the X and Y uh, uh, displacement of the barrel uh, the gyro sensor is only used as a reference for now because it's too noisy. Um, but the software code does seem to help with uh, getting rid of most of the noise. 
uh, right now I'm just using it as a reference to um, see if it correlate well with the X and Y accelerometer and basically the accelerometers are a lot cleaner um, but anyway it will calculate the X and Y displacement of the barrel based on the uh, vibration and um, with the ballistic coefficients and everything it will calculate the uh, trajectory down 50 yards and predict the point of impact. So I just ran the code and I'll show you what the results look like. So this is the first shot of the uh, Noma Match 22. It's the first shot of group one. So basically I'm processing shot one right there. And graph 21 or figure 21 gives you the um, predicted point of impact uh, of the first shot and uh, as you will I will show you later on like that's really close to the actual point of impact um, let me see if I have this display here so that's the first shot uh, of the Noma match 22 and this is the predicted point of impact based on all the sensor data all right, um, and then uh, the second MATLAB code that I have written is pretty much the same as the first one, but instead of processing um, one shot at a time, this particular uh, code will process uh, a group of shots. So um, let me give you an example. Um, I am going to process um, the Noma match 22 group 3 and if I go to group 3 you'll see five different shots uh, that I collected for uh, group number 3 so let's run the code and give you a little demo of uh, what you will see okay so there's the uh, five shot groups, um, the, the, the predicted point of impact of those five shots. Um, it's, as you can see, it's very, very close to the actual point of impact for group number three. Okay, so here's the um, actual point of impact of group number three using the Norma Match 22. Notice the, there's a lot of horizontal displacement of this particular group and that's the reason why I want to show you the simulation results of group 3. And here you can really see the spread of the uh, predicted uh, point of impact and it's very, very close to the actual point of impact. So I have pretty good confidence that the MATLAB code um, and all the sensors are working pretty well. Um, so the the first step is uh, pretty much accomplished. Um, basically, the sensors uh, actually works, and uh, the MATLAB code is uh, able to help us process the uh, data and predict the point of impact. So there will be a lot of data collection uh, down the road to um, see what we can do to um, tune the barrel based on the data that we have and uh, hopefully uh, make the groups a little bit tighter. Thank you for watching.